If you're frustrated with the way people drive in Jacksonville and think that the River City has some of the worst drivers in the country, Forbes magazine has the data. And you are 100% correct. Jacksonville, Florida is among the top 15 cities with the worst drivers, according to the list. Tarek explains what drivers are doing that's so inherently dangerous. It is a dubious distinction that no city wants to be among the worst of the worst when it comes to dangerous driving behavior, either on the highway or on residential roads. After analyzing risky road trends from 2017 to 2021, Forbes announced that Jacksonville is ranked number 14 when it comes to cities with the absolute worst drivers on the road. People cutting you off when you're going above the speed limit anyway. <laughs> or motorcycles going really fast, zipping in and out. I'm over in the right lane doing the speed limit and then some wild person drive up on me like I got somewhere to move over to. Researchers say Jacksonville recorded 15.32 deaths per 100,000 residents, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, and 4.49 fatal accidents per 100,000 residents involving a drunk driver. Researchers also took into account the number of accidents involving distracted drivers. We wanted to know how local drivers think they stack up behind the wheel. Do you consider yourself to be a good driver? Well, ask my wife, she'll tell you no, but yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider yourself a good driver? Most of the time. What do you think are some of your negatives? What are some things that you can work on? Uh, stay away from that phone, man. When that thing buzzes, everybody looks down, right? And I think that's what happens. My minus is, is being in a hurry or or thinking about other things. But what are some things that you could improve on on the road? Uh, probably not get anxious or nervous or angry when the crazy driver drive up behind me. Just stay calm. According to Forbes, Albuquerque, New Mexico is the most dangerous city to drive in, followed by Memphis, Tennessee, Detroit, Michigan, Tucson, Arizona, and Kansas City, Missouri. Forbes also considered the number of fatal car accidents in Jacksonville that occurred as the result of speeding. Seems like everybody is in a hurry and not taking safety as a first priority. Interestingly enough, researchers at Forbes Advisor did not provide any data for the safest city when it comes to drivers. That would have been nice to know, but it's important to note that the three of the top 15 cities that are the worst for drivers are in the state of Texas. And the city of Tampa was ranked 10th for having the worst drivers. So for all those people who are, you know, complaining about the driving, yeah. you're right. You're yeah. on to something. <laughs> you're, you're not on the wrong path there. Uh, this is something. And, and I'll, we'll talk in a moment about uh, my experience really moving to Florida. I'm like, wow, everybody's going so fast. Mm -hmm. But we've asked some of you on newsforjacks.com, do you think you're a good driver? Why or why not? Uh, Tark, obviously you're talking to people about that out in the community today as, as well. Chuck wrote in and said, yes, I don't speed, I don't text, I don't cut other people off. I use my turn signal for all lane changes. I keep right except to pass or when making a left turn. Chuck is saying he follows all wow, the guidelines. that's a all Boy Scout them. there. <laughs> and uh, Thomas writes, generally yes. If you have ever operated a motorcycle, you quickly learn you must have a 360 degree awareness of what's going on around you. I do the same in my SUV, concentrate on the road in front to each side and behind. That is great advice. You can weigh in. We want to hear from yeah. you. Go to newsforjax.com. You'll see this question posted on the home page. Yeah. Isn't it ironic, though, while you're driving, you are always the best driver. Like, and <laughs> in everybody here, in else. here, I know. <laughs> it's everyone else's it's problem. Terrible. I mean, and also the distracted driving is a big thing. And then you also think about Florida, and there's always construction on our roads. So yeah. you wonder how much the construction plays into a part of people's perception of driving. But they looked at fatalities, and, you know, they looked at real hard numbers. So we got to get better, folks. Mm. I'm my GPS at a guy is who setting, loves to drive over. Yeah, here, my, right? my GPS is set to back roads. I mean, you know, whether I'm going from here to Atlanta, here to South Florida, I stay off of I-75. I stay off of I-95. I go to my mother-in-law's house and I go pretty much 13 all the way down to US-1 and to Palm Coast huh. because of the highways. Mm, interesting. Yeah. All right. And the back roads are so much quieter, and that's where all the cool yeah. shops are. Yeah.